What's going on, everybody? Figured it'd been a while since I gave an update. I'll be slacking, not doing what I'm supposed to do with my YouTube channel, but one of these days I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. But uh, now I'm gonna give y'all an update on what we got going on. Uh, y'all have not seen the front porch on the shop, and y'all have not seen any of this. So, yeah, let's take a look. So, we have made some progress finally. The rain has somewhat cooperated. Uh, we got the visqueen and the wire down today on the foundation. This will be the carport along here, and that is an eight foot wide utility room there. And the breezeway coming in, I still got to get just a couple more pieces of wire, which I have them. I just hadn't put them in here yet to go into here for the concrete. Got footers all the way around this whole carport garage thing just to make it a little stronger. And this is the house part. So let's see what we got going on here. This is an eight foot porch going down the east side. A 10 foot porch coming along the south side where we will be able to see the pond from here. And on the west side of it over here will be another eight foot porch going up that side and probably right here i'm thinking about putting my grill and smoker and blackstone and fish cooker and any other cooking things i may want to do uh my like says porch comes all the way up this side and on the front side of the house there's a six foot porch here and on the other side and once this is all done there'll be a four foot overhang here uh, with concrete and just a roof overhang just to mainly protect the logs the paint you see there is where the fireplace hearth will be charles you doing all right say hello to everybody go you can gray around the muzzle um that's where the fireplace will be there will be an entry door here that probably rarely if ever gets used I'll try to keep you all out of the sun so right now i'm standing in the living room beside the fireplace this will be Drake's bedroom, Drake's bathroom, and I'll when I get closer, I'll explain all that. And on this side will be the master bedroom. The door will be right here. You come through, you're in the master bedroom. Come through this door, and this entire conglomerate here, you can count the squares and see how big it is if you want to. I can't remember, but this is a single shower it's massive so there's that and then the area between here to there to the wall will be a bathtub that's a closet the toilet will be here separated by a wall and a saloon style door and then through here will be cabinets with a double vanity through there Come back out the door back out the bedroom door and here what you're looking at is underneath the stairs. That there is the stairway landing. So you'll come to here and then go upstairs from there. And that right there will be where the water heater is. And I'm actually going to, this weekend, come to here and have a water, a separate water heater mounted to heat PEX pipe, which I will be running through the entire floor for radiant heat. Um, not very common in the south, but it's very efficient. So I watched a lot of videos and things of that nature, and I, I really enjoyed it, how it looks. So we're going to go with it. Um, carrying over the house, this will be the island in the kitchen. Sink will be there. Um, dishwasher will be here. Along the edge of the stairs, we're going to have the dining room table here. But we're going to have a bench back here instead of chairs. So that when you're done, you can just slide it up against the wall just to keep from cluttering up that space there. Oh, I said space. I watch these home. I watch, I watch all of these home improvement and home building shows and absolutely hate when they use the word space. I can't stand it. So my apologies. So that will be the refrigerator. That will be the stove that's stubbed up for the natural gas. Counters through there. There'll be a door here. This will be the pantry with a barn style double sliding door. And you come through this door and there will be the HVAC 
here and there'll be benches around this corner and washer and dryer and a table over here and this will be basically the mud room because this is where you'll enter from out there into the door and this will be where you take your shoes off the kids take the backpacks off all those types of things just keep all the dirt out there uh, another door here that goes into drake's bedroom and this line is actually incorrect this line is supposed to come here and then that way and this will be the vanity for this bathroom and drake's closet will actually be there so his bedroom's all through there he'll have a closet to come down to meet this and then your vanity for this bathroom where you walk through the door will be there and there'll be a little linen closet here toilet and just about right there all the way across the back that entire spot right there will be a walk-in shower uh not only for the kids but if we have any guests visiting and things of that nature so uh i think that's it i think i touched on the pantry uh what else we got going here like i said we should i got some more wire to put in over there I'll get that done tomorrow evening. We decided to go train duck dogs down at the pond today. A buddy of mine come over and we was working with his lab. His lab didn't want to swim, so we worked on that. And he did very well. He's, he's coming along. Uh, my pup, y'all hadn't met her yet. I got a, about a six-month-old black lab named Delta that we've been working with. She, she's going to be a, she's going to be a jam-up dog. So uh, let me switch over and I'll show you what all we got going inside the shop i know you haven't seen that in a while and i'll show you what we got going on on the back side of the shop and just kind of catch everybody up on everything so let's uh take a little take a little walk here if i don't slip and fall oh like i said we built this porch on the front i don't know several months ago and i went through and put these railings around just because these are the same style railings we will have all the way around the porches of the house say hello again charlie that's my old nine-year-old jip but uh did this just to kind of make the place look a little better we got our cedar furniture sitting up here and a couple tables and chairs and braylon's actually actively working on a flower bed there and on this side i'm gonna basically do the same thing with an archway coming back into that corner but i'm gonna plant a couple tomato plants Ooh, we got some action on the pond looks like something moving but uh i'm gonna plant a few little vegetables right there just to have some tomatoes maybe some peppers or whatnot but let's take a gander inside y'all haven't seen this in forever so now we basically made this our living room pretty much got the couches recliner TV and all the kids who plow there. There's my new dog, Delta. Hey, baby. Yep, that's my new dog, Delta. She's doing very well. So, coming on around. I don't know if y'all seen these shutters I built. Uh, got the dryer, the bunks. Wow, wow. <laughs> and we just have racks to hold our clothes, air conditioners. That's the kids' clothes. I don't think I did a video on this table that Lynn did that's just one of the old wire spools and she sanded it down and painted like a faded white on the bottom and bar uh, very much sanded the top and varnished that and it looks real good so fridge hunting clothes more kids clothes washing machine pretty much a full kitchen and all the food and whatnot there uh, this thing is for just holding shoes and whatnot and that's just an old tool chest and if y'all don't have a blackstone griddle go buy three of them they're incredible microwave dog feeder freezer we don't we don't support the second amendment at all if you can tell but <laughs> uh i guess that's pretty much all on the inside so we got the rest of the tin and the lights and i don't think anything's really changed inside the bathroom but i'll meander through there just in case uh vanity toilet laundry you got the little boat built to hold all that stuff and another one there and lynn's got her blow dryer and flat iron hanger there and there's a the shower and we have another uh shelf here to hold toilet paper and towels and things of that nature so other than that everything's the same there so let's gander on outside and see what we got i think my wife's back here cleaning up or 
driving with the kids or something. Oh, there's Dakota. Hello. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, we built this 16 by 40 lean off the back and I'll just turn them on real quick so you can see them. Um, put those LEDs in the top that really light it up, but I wired up a receptacle yesterday where you see these little lights down through here. They don't blind you near as bad. Don't worry about that fridge. I'm waiting on the guy to come pick it up for scrap. But yeah, I put a receptacle here so I can run these lights and we'll get to that in just a second. But I'm, they're eventually going to go around our little fire pit place we built here. We had some uh, cement left over from when they poured the footings for the house about that much and they were like hey it's your cement what do you want to do with it so i quickly formed this up just out of scrap and poured it and put the fire pit on it and you know just made a place where we can sit and hang out you know without being muddy because this whole yard is mud right now uh, if you look i just hauled this in it's starting to grow grass and all this has got to grow grass that's got to grow grass that's starting to all that back there got to grow grass so we still got a long way to go in the yard, but let's go down here and I'll show y'all how to strip bark off of cedar trees. There's the cedar trees I was talking about. I had a buddy of mine help me cut those and got those ready to go. There's the old Danger Ranger. And there's Drake and BB. Y'all helping or y'all just Eat eating? Pizza. Eating pizza. There's old Leonard Skinner. That is what's called a turbo tip for a pressure washer. And this is the last side to get the rest of that log is already white like that. So uh, next we'll be sanding it and varnishing it and getting it ready to go. So yeah, we're making some progress. I've just failed to, I have failed to video it. I uh, don't have any excuses, don't have any reasons, just kind of got away from it for a while but i've had several people ask to start kind of updating it because they want to follow the house build and things of that nature so uh going forward i'll try to do better uh, i've actually got my fish cooker fish cooker over there crawfish cooker ice chest we got our karaoke system out here if y'all never heard me sing you need to get drunk and listen to it because the drunker you get the better i sound and i have Got a toolbox out here now and a workbench and you know just I want to try to work on as much as I can back here while we're still living in there. I don't want to you know dirty that place up if I can help it. So you know after we get moved out, I'll move my tools in and you know start working on things in the air conditioning and heat instead of back here in the hot and the cold. But uh, I guess that's all I got for now. I will try to do a better job on updating going forward. Y'all know how that is. I may or may not. So uh, let me know what y'all want to see. If I missed anything y'all want to look at, just let me know, and I'll try to catch up on it. Uh, until then, we're going to continue. Oh, look at her. Hi, baby. Shake it. <laughs> y'all try to have a wonderful day and stay corona-free. And we will see y'all next time. Tell them bye.